Jeff, thank you very much. Thousands ignored social distancing guidelines last evening in Pittsburgh to hear President Donald Trump speak at a campaign rally. News 9's Gage Golding was there and has more. It's the China virus, not the coronavirus. <laughs> Corona sounds like a place in Italy, a beautiful place. It's Corona. President Donald Trump focusing much of his hour and a half speech in Pittsburgh on downplaying the coronavirus. We're very, very sadly disturbed by what happened with China. They let the plague out. They shouldn't have done it. But you're now on your way. We closed it up. We saved millions of lives. That's the bottom line. Mr. Trump continuing to praise his efforts to stop the spread of COVID-19, but outright acknowledging his administration's hiccup when it came to communication. We did an A-plus job, except we did a, a D job in terms of public relations explaining it because we were too busy doing it. The president didn't spare any expense when it came to criticizing Democratic nominee Joe Biden. Trump rallying the crowd when talking about a future debate, questioning Biden's ability to serve and asking the former vice president to take a drug test. This is the worst candidate. I said, what the hell is he taking? And we'd like to ask him. And I said that we want a drug test. We want a drug test. We'll both take it. We'll both take it. The president did sing praise of his work before the pandemic, especially when it came to the economy. We built the greatest economy in the history of the world, and right now we're doing it again. The president also touting his success in replenishing the armed forces while speaking right next door to the 9-11th airlift wing. It was totally depleted when I took over. We built a military, two and a half trillion dollars we spent all made in the USA, the greatest equipment, the greatest planes and rockets and missiles. The president's next scheduled campaign rally is in Jacksonville, Florida on Thursday. In Pittsburgh, I'm Gage Golding reporting.